This week's recipe is potato or pickle soup. I'm going to actually make the pickle soup variety tonight, but there's only one difference, and that's pickles. You're going to want potatoes, carrots, both of those diced, chicken stock. I have better than bouillon, so it's like a concentrate. I'm going to mix it with some hot water. You want butter, Old Bay seasoning if you have it. I have Lowry's. I'm calling that close enough. Salt and pepper, sour cream. I'm actually going to use Greek yogurt. Some flour. Then if you're doing the pickle soup, you're going to want dill pickles and some dill pickle juice. The tools for this recipe are just a pot. You're going to want a pretty big one. I'm doing a half batch, which is why I'm using the smaller pot. You're going to want a bowl, a knife to cut up all your veggies. And let's get started. All right, the first rule of cooking is you always need a bigger pot than you think. So I swapped out for my big pot. I've got my potatoes, my carrots, the butter, and the chicken broth all together in the pot here. I'm going to cook this medium high, um, about 15-20 minutes until the potatoes and carrots are really tender. You can see off to the side here, I also have some kielbasa that I've crumpled and cooked. I'm going to add this at the end. This is another thing you can add when you make the pickle soup, but it's not necessary. So I'm going to let this go ahead and cook, and I'll be back when it is ready to go. Okay, the potatoes and carrots are tender now, so I'm going to add the diced pickles. Don't add pickles if you're not making pickle soup. If you're making potato soup, just skip this step. Give that a stir. I know it sounds weird, but it's really good, I promise. And then we're going to add the sour cream, water, and flour. What I did was I mixed the water with the flour, stirred that together really, really well until there were no lumps. Then I added the sour cream and I stirred that together. I'm going to add this a couple spoons full at a time and whisk it really well. And put this on like medium. You start to get what looks like little white bubbles or little white clumps. Don't worry about that. As it simmers, those will go away. As you can see, the flour made the soup a lot thicker, and it's much more creamy now. Um, now we're going to add the seasoning and the pickle juice. I'm going to add some pepper, a little bit of salt, and some Lowry seasoning salt. Now the last ingredient, if you're making pickle soup, is to add pickle juice. If you're doing the potato soup, you're going to do everything minus the pickles and minus the pickle juice. Once you add the pickle juice, just give that another stir and let that mix in. And then the other last ingredient, I'm going to add the kielbasa and then we are done. This kielbasa is already cooked, so it is all set. And that is your potato slash pickle soup.